getting ready for a hot date tonight thought i would take you guys along with me in my little process if you are new my name is jasmine don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below i went to sally's beauty supply because i wanted to curl the ends of my hair yeah, i'm gonna use some of the fancy lip balm first because my lips are really dry as I was saying, I stopped at Sally's earlier because I wanted to get these rollers. I tried earlier with flexi rods, but they didn't do a good job. This is kind of what I got. Not a good job at all. So I decided to go back and get these. These are going to help me get the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to apply these to my hair and dip them in some hot water. I also saw these while I was at Sally's and these looked really nice. I had to get them and then I got these drops. These are vitamin drops with vitamin E from Design Essentials. I got these for my hair so that way I can get some hydration and just some vitamin in my scalp. So I randomly saw this and I decided to pick it up. By the way, these patches are from MD Skin. They're supposed to help with hydration and brightening. So I'm gonna leave them on while I get ready. I set the timer for 10 minutes. That should be good enough to boil and then I'm going to start applying these. I'm going to braid it to make it a little easier. I've also seen people do this by just braiding the hair like the curl but I prefer how it looks with the roller so that's what I'm going to do. Okay one done three to go. Last section I also have my diffuser going back there. Uh, it's the one that I got from Amazon and I got my little drops so I put them in from Capri Blue smells so good i also have it on the pink setting because i thought that was nice and romantic <laughs> for date night okay so my rollers are in i'm just gonna wait for the water to boil and i could dip these in the water like facial is given a mini facial because the steam <laughs> this is also really good oh this is very dangerous i would not recommend so do this at your own risk i'm gonna pick out all my makeup so that way i know what i'm using and i'm also gonna Put the hair oil, the hair drops, and I'm going to set the front of my hair so that way it can stay nice and flat. I feel like the dropper lets out a good amount of product so you don't need to squeeze too hard. I have these, I'm gonna use them to set my hair. So this is what I like to use for mousse. I feel like it doesn't give me flakes. I just like to go like this. This one also does have a nice amount of shine, so that's nice. I'm also going to do my edges while I'm at it. So I'm using the Design Essentials. I just realized this is the same brand as the oil. Design Essentials Edge Control. So I'm done with that. I'm going to go ahead and pick out my makeup. So these are the products I'm going to be using today. So I picked all my products out. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup. I'm drinking BCAAs. I've been sipping on this all day. Zero calories because I'm crazy and I saved all my calories for dinner. <laughs> I literally have not eaten today, you guys, because I'm saving every single calorie for dinner for dinner since i am trying to modify my calories and eat less you know to lose weight these are from alani new and they taste delicious i think i have the i forget what flavor it is but it tastes really good they're the sour gummy flavor we're gonna get into this primer i should probably take these off first i feel like i see hydration It's 5.30 right now. We need to call at 7 to put ourselves on the wait list because they do this whole wait list thing now. I don't know why it's like that. Last time, oh no, last time we just walked in. So maybe that's why we never noticed. But I haven't been to Bar Taco in like four years. The last time I went was before the pandemic. So maybe like 2019. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Since we're going to be out, I'm going to use some powder to set my face a little bit just to help with the oils i'm gonna just put it where i get oily which is like right here and then right here literally like not so much my chin i'm just putting my chin to balance it out the color but 
it's really like right here and then right here for me nowhere else gets shiny so i'm gonna put this on my high points where i would normally put highlighter and i'm also gonna keep it like back here like i said over here gets shiny so i don't really want to put that product there i'm gonna keep it away from the areas um that get shiny so you know i don't have extra shine i'll put some right here got some on my edges i'll even put some like down here and i use the shade seven i actually really like this stuff it's really good and then i'm gonna do some foundation we're gonna use the host labs I'm using the Hoss Labs foundation and I'm pretty sure my shade is 460. 460. <laughs> you know I love a product when I know the name of the shade, okay? Like, I really do not ever know the shade names of things, but when I love a product and I use it all the time, I start memorizing the names of the colors. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend this one first. I need to go get a new beauty blender because... This one, I've been washing it and it's getting to the point where I'm washing it and it's still looking dirty. So <laughs> I'm going to go grab a couple from Sephora. Lately, I've been into the original beauty blenders more so than the dupes. So that's what I've been using. I'm going to use some Fix Plus to just set a little bit. Taking the Rare Beauty bronzing stick to bronze my face. I'm also going to use the Rare Beauty blush, and this one is in the shade Love, my favorite. I think this is my favorite shade from this blush. Blend the bronzer. Okay, I'm going to take whatever I have left. Okay. Ooh, my hair is coming off. Okay. So I'm going to let that sit today since I want like extra coverage, you know. I want like extra flawless. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to eyeshadow today, but I think I'm leaning more towards just bronzer instead of doing an actual eyeshadow color so i think i'll just do some bronzer on my eyelids to add dimension but not really any color is the lighting too bright i feel like it's a little bright let me like, go i'm taking one of these little puff things i'm going to go ahead and use some mac powder to set under my eye my thing is slowly lifting off my head i love this mac powder my favorite for this step I've tried this and I've tried other I've tried other powders for under my eye and I feel like the MAC one, this one, the Studio Fix, it just does something different. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury powder in number four for the rest of my face and this big brush. This is from BK Beauty number 105 off to mario back to mario we go this is the makeup by mario bronzer so how i like to use this is i take the brush and i just go straight in like this the bottom of the brush is going to have the darker color and then the top part has more of the highlighter colors and then what i do is i just place it in the same order on my cheek and i just dab it like that that's how i like to use this if i'm using all of the colors if i'm just using the bronzer i'll take a smaller brush and just go only in the bronzer but like today i'm gonna use all three or all yeah i think it's like three colors and then i do the same thing on the other side just make sure you have the brush in the right direction where the bronzer is on the bottom you don't want to put a bronzer up here and glitter down there and i would just not look good and then for my forehead i do the same thing but i flip the brush around so that way the bronzer is on top and I do the same thing. But it's also it's also fine if you mix it all together. Because I've seen him do it and he mixes all together sometimes. Like he does it different ways. So you don't have to do it one particular way. You could just do like whatever you want with the powder. Um, but yeah. A couple people asked that on my 
video that's why i wanted to like kind of show it i'm taking this brush i'm just gonna do a little nose contour i'm gonna do a little tiny nose contour we're gonna do lashes i'm doing lips last so we'll do lashes now i'm gonna do these and i'm also also gonna do my maybelline mascara so this is my lash combo okay so lashes i'm using the kiss pencil this is like a lash glue eyeliner two-in-one I love these lashes you guys they look so good like I really love them I'm gonna go grab some more in case you missed it they are the 8D 8D lashes from Ardell this is style number 952 but they have quite a they have a few different styles and I feel like most of them looked good I just went with this one because it was a little bit more dense but definitely love these and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use mascara for my bottom lashes just a little bit not too much i'm gonna do my lips last but i will be doing the mac i'm gonna use the mac gloss in oyster girl i've been loving this lately so i'm gonna use oyster girl and i'm gonna use a brown lip liner to spray away Because who has time to sit and let this dry? Makeup is pretty much done. My hair is also pretty much done. I'm gonna pick out my outfit and figure out perfume and jewelry. Switched into my outfit. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Princess Polly. I'll show you guys the full outfit in a second. And then I'm wearing some jeans from Zara. I'm gonna take this bag with me in the back, my bucket bag. I'm just gonna take this off. It started to come off while I was putting my outfit on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just take these off as well. This is what that looks like. And the last one. Ow. Okay. So this is what they look like. Much better than earlier. We're all done with my hair. I really love this. And I didn't use the super tiny um, little rods. So it came out a little bigger, which I like. Typically at the hair salon, they use tinier ones, like thinner rods. And they come out a little tighter. Using this Buxom lip liner. All right, so I'm keeping this in my purse. I am gonna use my Alien Goddess perfume. I think this smells so good, perfect for date night. So I'm gonna use this today, Alien Goddess. I'll have it linked below. And then for jewelry, this drawer is super messy, but let's try to pick some stuff. It smells so good. This is my first time wearing it like out the house. I'm put some in my hair. <laughs> I'm not even gonna layer this. I'm gonna wear it on its own. It just smells that good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Tell me how I broke these earrings. I actually need to get them, try to see if I could fix them. Look, I broke it. Two hoops today. We're gonna do these hoops. I think I got these from Lovisa. I decided to keep things pretty casual for shoes and go with sneakers. I'll show you guys the full outfit taking this purse with me. This is what the curls look like. I think they look really nice. Quick shoe change. I change into these instead. We are ready. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video.